family friends I'm back to do a wonderful cake recipe for you guys so if you've never had Sakatumi cake before stay tuned because that's what I'm going to show you how to make okay Sandy what is Sakatumi cake well Sakatumi cake is um, the best way to explain it to you have you ever had pistachio cake before um, it's where you take um, a yellow cake mix um, from either Betty Crocker or Duncan Hines, whatever, and you mix um, a package of pistachio pudding with it, and then you mix, I think it's like four eggs and, I don't know, half of a cup, three quarters, a cup of oil, and a cup of sour cream that recipe there and then where you put half of the cake batter in your pan and then you have a nut streusel that you put in the middle and then top it with more cake batter and then more streusel on the top and so then when it comes out it's when you slice it it's like a green cake okay that's pistachio cake a lot of people are familiar with it Sakatumi cake is kind of similar to that but different um it does not require any pudding but some of the other ingredients are the same now I'm going to give you two different versions how to make this I'm going to tell you very quickly the fast version to how to make it and then if you want to make the homemade version which is what I'm going to make today hey okay. for the fast version you're going to need one box of um, yellow cake mix or try to find the butter cake mix and it'll say on their butter cake mix because the whole point of Sakatumi cake you want that butter flavor but you can use yellow cake mix if you don't have the buttered flavored kind so you need one box of cake mix you need half of a cup of sugar you also need one cup of sour cream three quarters cup of oil four eggs you see how that all sounds very familiar to the pistachio cake and then two teaspoons of vanilla and then for the streusel mix the nut mixture that you're going to put in the middle it's four tablespoons of brown sugar two teaspoons of the granulated sugar or caster sugar and two teaspoons of cinnamon and one and a quarter cups of finely ground pecans so that's the fast version and what you would do is you would take those uh, the cake mix uh, sugar sour cream oil eggs and vanilla mix that that's your cake batter and then half of that goes into a bunk cake pan then you mix your streusel you sprinkle all of it on uh, the top part of the cake mix and then you take the other half of the cake mix and put it on top and then you're going to bake it and the same baking time is what I'll be giving you when we do the homemade version but I'll just tell you now too um, it's at uh, 325 in the oven for one hour alright so now I'm going to show you the homemade version that's what I'm making today so let's go over the ingredients obviously the ingredients are going to be a little different because we are not using a cake mix okay in this bowl I have two sticks of softened butter don't use margarine use butter because we want the butter flavor and two cups of sugar and this is granulated sugar or as the European friends call it castor sugar so you see it's just like that. It's granulated sugar okay so over here in this bowl what we have is three cups of sifted flour half of a teaspoon of baking soda half of a teaspoon of salt okay then we're going to need two teaspoons of vanilla and I'm going to use vanilla paste but you could just use regular vanilla and we're going to need six eggs here and we're going to need one cup of sour cream and then you need to have your uh, butt pan already you know greased and floured okay then over here this is for the streusel mix that we're going to put in and so that's the four tablespoons of brown sugar the two teaspoons of the granulated sugar and then one and a fourth cup of ground pecans and we'll get all this mixed together so now what we need to do is start putting all of this cake mix together so I have creamed the sugar and the flour together and now I'm going to start adding my eggs to this while mixing one egg at a time 
I beat it for about one minute after, you know, I got all my eggs in there. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to alternate uh, putting half of the flour, the salt, and the baking uh, soda. I'm going to have that mixed, and I'm going to put half of this in here, beat it a little bit. Then I'm going to put half of the sour cream in, continue beating, and then the last half of this beat, and then last half of that, and beat it. So here's your cake batter, and you can see it's pretty thick, because this is going to be kind of or on the order of like um, a pound cake, or, you know, a coffee cake. So I'm going to put half of the mixture in my pan, um, and I'm going to go ahead and get um, my streusel mix put together, and put that on top, and then I'll come right back. So here we go. I have my streusel mix all put together. And by the way, in case anybody were to wonder, and I've mentioned it before, my hands are always clean. I'm always washing my hands, and I always wash my hands before I cook. And quite honestly, as I'm cleaning up my mess here and there while I'm cooking, um, my hands are always going in soapy water to wash my dishes and to wipe off my counter space. So my hands are very clean and I just mentioned that just because um, I think I had somebody one time years ago mentioned about my hands going in the food but my hands are clean okay so there you go there's your streusel mix I'm gonna take the rest of the cake mix top it and so there it is and now it's gonna go into my 325 degree oven for about an hour. I'm going to come back at about 40 minutes and start checking it with my toothpick and you know I'll just keep checking it until it is finished. There is my Sakatumi cake and doesn't that look delightful? So yummy and so now I'm going to get ready to put the glaze on and this is the glaze that I'm using I'll tell you how to make it and I just want to show you the consistency that you can see when you put this on top of the cake it's going to run down the side but before I glaze the cake let's talk about glaze okay I just want to talk a couple minutes about glaze glaze is really tricky <laughs> um, some glazes that are made are a little bit on the thick side because what you're supposed to do is really put it on the top of the cake and then the warmth of the cake is to let it ooze down the sides and everything and it works if you have your cake at the right temperature but sometimes you know we put the glaze on a little bit too soon the cakes a little bit too warm and then what happens is the heat of the cake it melts your glaze and the glaze ends up you know becoming translucent it soaks into the cake and when you're looking at your cake it's like what happened to the glaze where's the glaze so this recipe for the glaze that I made um, it'll be the consistency that I showed you which is perfect that you can put that on a completely cooled cake and it will still go down the sides now how did I make my glaze I used four tablespoons of butter and I use four tablespoons of milk to two cups of powdered sugar and the reason why I put the butter in there some glazes have butter some glazes do not have butter but because Sakatumi cake is like a butter flavored sort of cake um, I put the butter in that uh, the glaze some glazes people just you know like I said they don't put the butter in there but I do so anyway now we're gonna get ready and glaze the cake I just get a big spoon and I'm just gonna come over here and like I said you know you you put your glaze on the top of the cake and then it's supposed to run down all by itself and it will eventually and sometimes you can even help it if you want to just go a little bit more to the sides and it will end up going down but it will it will slide down all on its own and so there we have it and it's still running down the sides on its own that's why I said it'll go down on its own okay here we go this is gonna be so good And there we have it. 
one piece of socket Jimmy cake. Socket Jimmy cake, it's so good. It really is. Very yummy. It's great to take for a family gathering, if you're having a family event, if you're having company over, it's a holiday. I don't know, you're going to get your girlfriends over for a luncheon. It's the perfect coffee cake uh, style cake to serve for that, um, for any kind of event or just to eat. It's very good. And guess what? It's a southern recipe. I'm not southern, y'all, but it is good anyway. Um, I do have a lot of family from the south. My grandparents, all my grandparents, except for my grandfather, my father's dad, he was from Illinois. My dad's mother was from Texas, and my mom's mom and dad were from West Virginia and Georgia. So, anyway, but I'm a Yankee girl. I live up north, and I don't say y'all. That's probably about the only time you're going to hear me say y'all was right here on this video. But anyway, sock to me cake. It is a southern recipe. It's really good, very tasty, and I hope that you make it. See you next video. Bye.